Hello everybody, what is going on? Uh, it's me again. And um, I told you um, on my um, previous video of my sword collection that I would show you some other new stuff um, if I got some in the future. And uh, here we have it. Um, so what's new is uh, this sword right here. Um, this uh, mace and this war axe uh right here uh, this one-handed war axe war axe <laughs> so um i'll start from here just like i did last time um the master sword right here of uh, the shoulder belt that comes with it you saw that highland shield too um i won't go over the swords that i've already showed you before because um i've already explained them in the previous uh, sword collection video, so this is going to be my sword and, and other nice stuff. Current collection part two. So that's the katana again. I, I made uh, the katana scabbard, so it was at the same curve as the katana itself. Again, like the last video, the katana uh, scabbard was like this, the way it is right now, and then I just went for it like that. So there's uh, the master sword again. There's um, Anduro. When I bought it, it said Narsil, but um, not Narsil, just exactly like Anduro minus the writing on the blade right here. So we, so that's that. Um, this, I'll start with the um, this because this is what, what, what I got after Anduro, this uh, medieval um, war axe. Um, this is stainless steel with a really nice grip right here. It's like metal and um, it's like black wood and then there's spiky stuff right there. Um, and it isn't sharp. Like I can um, put my fingers up to it like this, squeezing hard and I'm, I don't get cut. So that's a really nice thing about this. Um, what I got after this was um, Orchrist right here. Um, this sword um, belongs to um, Thorn Oakenshield from the Hobbit trilogy. Um, the interesting thing about this sword is that it was um, made by the elves and um, the handle of the sword is supposed to be a dragon tooth uh, right over here. It almost looks like wooden, but you see at the end right there, there's like the little tooth spike right there. And uh, it's pretty similar to Sting, although Sting is um, kind of like has the cross guard right here on like both sides. And it's like this blade flipped over. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to describe it, but it's um, and it has like elvish writing right there it's like sting head on his um after that i got this um this is the german mace i got um it's um everything i have here um i don't count the lightsaber right here i'm just i'm gonna put the lightsaber aside everything that i have here is stainless steel uh stainless steel swords are just really meant for something like uh, like wall decoration or hanging on your bedroom wall or something like that. They're not really um, meant for um, sword fighting. Um, the only functional thing I have here, or the only real thing, is this uh, mace right here, the black mace. And uh, that is uh, um, a high carbon steel German mace. That's really nice. It's uh, really heavy. It's about four pounds, and it has eight... Uh, flanges, those kind of like spiky things on the side there, and uh, it's really, really nice, and uh, I'm not going to light up the lightsaber because I don't have batteries in it right now, so if you want to see what this looks like lit up, you can check my previous video as well, so thank you guys for watching, I hope to have more stuff to show you in the future, and I'll see you later.